This is the nothing phone to uh mm, one second. Here we go. This is a nothing phone to wear. And today I'll be unboxing my very first nothing smartphone on this channel and I will be giving my very first impressions after using this for few hours. And there's actually something I faced with this smartphone while setting it up so make sure you watch the entire video. Now I'm not going to bore you with a pretty long unboxing so in the box you get your smartphone a USB C to C cable some documentation and a very fancy sim injector tool with that said let's move on to my first impressions because I've been using the smartphone for a few hours right now and I have to say there are three things that really impress me number 1 the display the display here is amazing to be honest i mean i didn't expect such a good display for this price now this here is an amoled display but one thing i really like about this is that it is not super saturated and the colors really pop and the sharpness is amazing i really i'm glad to see nothing fine tune the display really well i mean display is something that we are viewing every day and if that is bad then your entire experience is definitely going to be bad but i can surely say this display is amazing here viewing content i've been viewing some like really high quality content for a few hours right now and i have to say i am impressed and that's a good thing the second thing that i like after using this for a few hours right now is that this smartphone is a pretty snappy smartphone now i know this is a 120 hertz display but there are smartphones even though having 120 hertz display you can feel the sluggishness that could be because of too much background apps or no proper optimization but this smartphone is very snappy even if you're you know scrolling through your settings page i mean that's what we do initially when you set up your phone so you scroll through your settings page or just you know open and close the app drawer you just keep on scrolling i haven't seen any sort of you know stutter or anything it has been smooth up until now and that is a very good starting sign now of course i'll be testing this to see how powerful it is so make sure you subscribe cuz you don't want to miss some amazing videos now the third thing that i really like about this smartphone are the speakers cuz they are loud i mean i've cranked up the volume to the max listen to my favorite songs watch some couple of videos even at the max volume there is no distortion or anything like that now i'm not going to say this is like like super uh, crystal clear it has proper tuning no 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 i'm not saying it's like that but considering that this is a sub 25000 rupees smartphone the speaker on this device is pretty amazing now these are the three things that i initially noticed and really liked about the smartphone and of course there are things like camera battery life things like that and i will definitely be testing that so make sure you don't miss that but there's one thing that i faced while setting up this device and that was the setup <laughs> yeah kind of ironic but yeah the setup was the slowest i've ever witnessed on a smartphone now now remember it could be my particular unit it could be i mean just with, uh, with this but still i did face the slowest setup ever now it was not like uh, the setup the page itself was slow no but for some reason or the other when i went to you know set it up as a brand new smartphone a brand new device it just kept loading and loading and loading and loading and then it showed some error saying it couldn't do i came back then again did kept on loading 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 it kind of kept loading for quite a long time and then i had to skip few processes you know set it up offline so i couldn't from the setup page itself directly go to the google account and do all that stuff so i skipped it I went offline and then later on i went inside and then set it up so i think it could be a bug or something like that but um, yeah this was the slowest setup i've ever faced but 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 don't take this as the end call cuz it might be my unit alone keep an open mind and uh, there's one small nitpick i have and that is the screen protector the pre applied screen protector is not perfectly aligned 
so i am kind of a person who has ocd and that kind of triggers me i mean it did trigger me that was the first thing i noticed the screen protector is not properly aligned especially you can notice that around the camera area so it's not a huge thing but if you have ocd or something like that then that's not great now in the few hours i've been using the smartphone i kind of really like it it has a great display the performance is snappy the speakers are good and the battery life also seems good because i've been throwing a lot of benchmarks and stuff on this and it's been good up until now so there are a lot of good things i'm seeing but this of course is just an initial impressions and my next video is going to be an in-depth like super hardcore gaming review so make sure you're subscribed to watch that so hope you like this video thanks for watching and this here is someone signing off once again catch you later